This is Google Chat for Teachers, and my name is Kaya Wilson, a K-5 math instructional coach in Rhode Island. This tutorial focuses on getting you and your team up and running on the platform, including initiating a chat, creating rooms for teams, Google Workspace integrations, as well as some ideas for use cases. You may be familiar with Google Hangouts as a means of communicating with teachers and even students. Google Hangouts is now changed to chat. Over the course of the pandemic, there's no doubt that you also became quickly familiar with Google Meet. One of the greatest advantages of this change is now that both services, Chat and Meet, can all be controlled from the comfort of Gmail. Let's dive in to see how it looks. When you open your email, take a look at the bottom left and you'll see that there are three headings identifying where you'll find individual chats, rooms, as well as the ability to create an on-demand Google Meet. It's pinned down here by default, but you actually have the ability to move these to the opposite side of your screen. Click on the settings gear in the top right hand corner of your Gmail. In the drop down, click on see all settings. And in the top, you'll see a heading that says chat and meet. There are four options. If you look down at the third option, it will give you a button where you can where you can select the right side of the inbox and save your changes. Your screen will reload and then if you look at the right hand side of your Gmail you will notice that the chat, the rooms, and the meets are now on the right hand side. You are also able to select your availability, select do not disturb for a certain amount of time, and to harken back to those AOL Instant Messenger days, you can also set a status or an away message. Initiating a chat is as simple as hitting the plus sign next to where it says chat. And in this case, I'm gonna chat with some old friends, my friend Joey Gladstone. Now within each chat, there are a series of options that you can access by clicking on the three stoplights. You are able to minimize the conversation as you could with Hangouts, but one new feature is by clicking on the double arrows, you can enlarge your conversation, but it actually becomes a new pane within your Gmail, similar to an actual email message. There are multiple ways that you can set your notification preferences including pop-up notifications, changing the sound when you receive a new message, and receiving an email if you are mentioned in a certain message as well. Beyond individual and group chats, you can select the plus sign next to where it says rooms, and you can create a room with multiple users. These rooms are great for teams of teachers, specialists, administrators, and in this case, I'm gonna create a room called Friends Forever. But in order to keep our discussions focused and organized, I can actually select use threaded replies. And for my room, I will go ahead and add Kelly, AC, Zach, and Lisa. When you create a room, you'll also notice that the room will open as a new pane within your Gmail. And all rooms will be listed under the room tab. As soon as you select a room, you can create a new thread. While Zach and I are having our conversation, if you do receive a new message in the room, you'll be notified at the bottom that you've received a new message. And it could either be a reply to your current conversation or in the case of Lisa asking where Screech is, she created a new thread. Clicking the add people or bots button will allow you to add and remove users to any particular room. Some of the tools at your disposal in rooms and in chats is to post emojis. You are also able to forward specific messages to your own inbox so that they appear as an email by clicking on the envelope that appears as you hover over a specific conversation. And once you head over to your inbox, it will actually appear as a new email message. Rooms can be a particularly powerful tool for teachers, especially with some of the integrations like sharing certain files. 
with all of the members of your room. Using the task button, you can assign tasks to room members. And in the case of my room, I'll create a task and it will say pick up my Malibu Sands Beach Resort uniform. I need to pick it up by September 24th. And then you can assign a room member to that specific task. In this case, I'll assign it to Zach. Being the forgetful type, Zach will get a notification that he has something to do. In addition, you have the ability to delete messages that you yourself have created within a specific thread or a specific chat. You also can edit those same messages. When it comes to use cases in a school setting, there are many. But what I will do is I will let the members of Zach Attack go ahead and continue their conversation in this room, highlighting some of the use cases that I know I have found work really well. Kelly brings up a great point. It's really a great alternative to sending quick emails. So if you have a quick thing to communicate to a colleague, either in another building or on your team, you can quickly do so in a room or on a one-on-one -on -one chat. She also highlights that it keeps information, it files discussions organized by subject or grade level teams. That's one of the nice advantages to having a room dedicated to a grade level team or a content level team. You'd think that Lisa would just be talking about fashion, but instead she actually just brings up the point that rather than searching through long email chains, and through an inbox that might be cluttered and full of emails, team members can react and respond within a single discussion thread, keeping a lot of the replies and reactions organized by topic. And Zach really does a nice job wrapping it up, saying that your email, the chat, and the rooms are all contained within Gmail, something that you already have open and use on a daily basis. You don't have to download additional apps on your computer, your phone, or tablet. They are available. I put links to them in the description below. But in particular, if you have the Gmail app installed on any other sort of mobile device, a phone, an iPad, a tablet, if you have the Gmail app, you still have the ability to access your chats, your rooms, as well as your email, all on that mobile app. 